Hello everyone. So I set up my tripod here, so hopefully I can get this done with where it's situated. Mommy, come on, let's start. I am starting. We're talking right now. We're live. So we are going to be making, I always say this wrong, meringue mushrooms. So I thought I would come on and show you guys how to do it. So you're going to need your whipping mix. And eggs. You're going to need eggs, two eggs, two egg whites, two egg whites. Now the recipe does call for it to be cold or warm, room temperature actually. We are going to try it cold. It says that it'll take a little bit longer since it's cold, but we're gonna do it anyways. Mommy, come on. Because we have the whipping mix and it's a lot Mommy, faster. On, we're also going to be using a piping Mommy, bag with a Mommy. big round tip. Yes, honey. Let's do that. Half a cup of sugar, an eighth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Mommy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the tartar. Hold on, hold on. So I'm just gonna take this off and I'm going to attempt to separate my eggs. Like all of that yummy. Come on, get down. There we go. And it broke. Good ha, it did not break in there, so I am safe. I realized I forgot to put something, grab something, put it in. Mommy, where's the water? And we have a cup okay, to put it water. in. Hold on. And we're going to do the next one. What? No, wait. I want to pour it in. Hold on, baby. Mommy's trying to get the, oh, there we go. Some music for us. Oh, thank you. Okay, I think I've gotten most of the egg my white. Thumb really hurts. Your thumb really hurts. Did you hit your thumb while you were doing it? Come on, get down. Okay, I can't get that loud, so we'll piece of. I'm trying to get that last little bit of there we go, of egg white. So put that over there. Wash my two, my two egg whites. I'm going to Jeremy to stop. I'm gonna add half a cup of sugar. And the recipe that I did, just put it all together. So we're taking this. Eighth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. And then an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just That's taking the salt. Put that in there. So then I'm going to take the top of the whipping mix and I'm gonna stick it on. You just want it to be still ribbony without with a little bit of soft peaks on it. So now the jelly beef is gone, I can do it a little bit faster. Perfect. So see how you have the peaks in there? So I'm going to put this off to the side. And then I'm going to take my piping bag. Oh, lives with toddlers. So I'm going to take the little insert and I'm just going to put it inside the bag. And just kind of push it out the bottom here. And then I'm going to take the tip and I'm going to screw it on. And then that's all that takes. So then I just have a regular tumbler. Oops. Put it inside the bag. Kind of bend it over. My spatula, and I'm just gonna put the meringue inside the bag.
And now here's where you make your mushrooms. So I have a silicone form just on a regular baking sheet. And you're going to take this and you're just going to do some circles. They do not have to be all even because mushrooms in the wild are not all even. Now I am actually going to be making a Yule cake and I thought that it would be fun to have little mushrooms. Okay, so I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to make it. And then I have a little cup of water here and I'm going to dip my finger and I'm actually going to pat down. Ooh, I'm going to dip my finger. <laughs> Hold on, sweetie. On just the tops of the mushrooms. Just where that kind of spike was there. Because I want them to be round. I don't want them to have that little spiky on the top. Can we do it too? I see, babes. Okay. That's enough. Do you want to make a couple more mushrooms? Because we've got a little bit left. Okay, let's see. We got one. Oh, don't do it on that one. Oops. Because that one was a stem. Two. We'll make three. And whoops, I'm running out. Okay. That'll just be a fun one. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm actually going to kind of smooth this out a little bit. No, no more. No more. You did a really good job helping. Thank you so much. I want the icing. No, it's not icing, honey, it's meringue. Not in your mouth, babes. So I'm going to take this and I'm actually... Oh, I need to finish these ones. Um, so I'm going to bake this in the oven at 200 degrees for an hour and a half. And I'll come back and show you. Thanks for watching. Stop eating that. Bye. Okay, so here they are. They were in the oven for an hour and a half. So you can see they come right off. They are hard. They are still, I'm not going to squeeze them too much because they're still um, in the, they're still a little soft kind of in the middle. All the outside is hard though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these fully cool and then I'll show you how to put them together. I forgot to go live last night to show you what I did. So I'll see if you can kind of see. I took a knife and I just kind of um, put a little like dug a little bit of the meringue out and then I melted some chocolate in this guy and then I just kind of I filled up another piping bag cut a little bit off and then I squirted some that sounds so bad I put some chocolate into the hole and then I just put the um the little tops on right so it kind of sits like that so then this is how my mushrooms are sitting now they're a little bit angled, but I like them. Look at that. That's so cute. And now I'm just going to take some chocolate powder and I'm going to dust it over top. And now my little mushrooms are ready for decorating my Yule log cake. And that's how you do it.